because there's probably something else you could be doing rather than shopping. Even though, who wouldn't want to be shopping all the time? Hi guys, so today I'm going to be sharing with you seven shopping tips. And in my opinion, I think all of us need a little bit of guidance and help sometimes with shopping because we can get a little carried away with shopping, if you know what I mean. I definitely, you know, have a hard time with, um, you know, oh, what is on my wall? That is what I'm going to be doing today, and this is going to be another one of my tips videos, obviously. And thank you guys so much for the awesome feedback on my last tips video about the cleaning and organizing your room. I'll have that link down below if you want to go watch it. Seriously, that has over, I think, like 40,000 views now, and that's just insane. So thank you guys so much for that. And um, yeah, so I just decided to make another tips video. I hope you guys really enjoy and get some awesome tips and everything like that. Mine could be, you know, pretty like cliche, but these are just kind of tips that I try, I try to go by when I'm going shopping. I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's go ahead and get started. And I just wanted to say real quick that like these rules, I mean, I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to say you have to do this every single time you go shopping, but this is, these are just some things that maybe might help you if you have a little bit of a shopping problem. It's okay, this is a no judge zone here. So I have seven tips right here and I wrote them down. If I the first tip that I always, you know, try to tell myself is know where you're going. Like, don't just randomly go to the mall just because you want to go to the mall, even though I do do that a lot. But if you actually are, like, going to the mall for a purpose of buying something, then actually, like, plan in your head where you're going to go. Say, I'm going to go to PacSun and Forever 21 and that's it. I don't want to go anywhere else. Something like that, just to really make sure that you stick to those stores or store um, so you don't really get off track anywhere else. Even though you might want to, it'll just help you just keep that like in your mind. And then along with that, my second tip is know what you're buying. So if you um, just kind of randomly walk into PacSun and Forever 21 um, and you don't really know what you're looking for, trust me, you will pick up so many things and then end up buying so much more than you were wanting. I think before you go to the mall, like look in your closet, look in your drawers, anything like that, like look in there and see, okay, I have this, you know, I have this, oh, I have that blue shirt, oh, but I don't have a black maxi skirt or something like that, which is actually something I do need to go get. But if you just need like a certain item, like a staple item, something like that, just be like, okay, I need a black maxi skirt. Once you know what you are trying to look for, then that will also help narrow down. Because like, I don't know about you guys, but every time I walk into the mall, there's like a Dillard's in the very front. And I always, always like have to stop at Dillard's and just look at all the amazing shoes and die for a second because I'm so jealous that like all of those heels and stuff aren't in my closet. Go into the mall just to go right past those, go straight to PacSun, straight to Forever 21, and then go right out of the mall. If you are looking for example a black maxi skirt, just think of a few stores and just go there to look for just that item. Tip number three is set a budget. Oh yes, I said it. I said the B word budget and yeah back to the black maxi skirt say you aren't going to pay for more than mm, 30 to 40 dollars for a maxi skirt and it also just depends on how much money you have and how much money you want to spend um so that's you know always like a deciding factor for your budget as well but just make sure you spend your money wisely and also think of things in the future that you might want because I mean, let's be real, you're gonna want something else soon from the mall. Make sure you set a good, like, you know, appropriate budget that you can spend your money on. Sorry, I'm looking down a lot, but I'm just looking at my little notes right here. About half of these questions are, like, mainly what to decide and plan even before you leave your house. Like, don't get to the mall or get into a store and be like, oh, okay, well now I'm gonna decide where I want to go now or something like that, you know? Because then that can just kind of, like you know, get you a little sidetracked on what your main goal is to buy in the mall. Just make sure you plan out some of, a lot of these steps actually before you just even leave your house so you know exactly where you're going, what you're getting, what your budget is. Number four is pay with cash. So, I don't really 
have a problem with this because I don't have a credit card and the only thing I do spend, you know, with is money or cash. I read somewhere that people spend 20 to 50% more on, you know, whatever they're buying, clothes, makeup, anything. They spend 20 to 50% more if they use a credit card. So that's like a huge reason why you want to pay with cash because, you know, I know that you get bills with credit cards. I mean, I don't, I'm only 15, so I don't, you know, deal with that stuff yet. I don't even have a credit card, like I said, but I know there's bills you have to pay with credit cards and taxes and all that stuff that I'm not looking forward to. But besides that, that's why it's really, really helpful to just pay with cash because then that also goes along with setting a budget because, you know, if you spend your $40 on the maxi skirt that you were looking for and you decide to go into another store, well, you don't have any more money to use like you don't have any more cash and you all also don't have a credit card if you do have a credit card then I would suggest just leaving it home when you go to the mall just leave it at home because then there's no way you can use your credit card at all at the mall definitely definitely pay with cash and that will help a lot more with spending money spending unnecessary money let's just say that <laughs> number five is set a time frame slash the best time for you. First of all, you don't want to go at a time you're feeling rushed or you're just tired or you feel sick or something like that. I mean, just go whenever you're free and you just can take your time because I like taking my time when I'm in stores. Like my mom, she kind of gets mad at me sometimes because I take like a lot of time like looking at every single thing in the store. I like taking my time, setting a time frame so when you go say, oh, I only have an hour and a half to look for these things and then I have to go. Just make sure you set a time frame so then that you won't end up wasting too much time at the mall and wasting time in other stores that you weren't even planning on going to just because uh, you have, you know, you can just do it because you don't have anything else to do. But number six is remember that the salesperson is there to sell you. Like, even though... They can be so, so, so nice and like so friendly and act like your best friend. I mean, if you think about it, like all sales people are nice and all of them like are talkative and are trying to get to know you because they want you to buy the product that you're looking. Especially, especially at clothing stores. Oh, look at this, look at this. Oh, that's so cute, that's so cute. You know, you can usually tell, but um, just remember that it really is about what you want and what you're looking for and just what your opinion is no matter if it even looks bad on you they'll most likely tell you that it looks good even though it might not be the best fit for you so just remember that and keep that in mind when you go shopping next time and then the last tip that i have for you guys is ask yourself questions and i'm sure a lot of you guys have heard actually some of these tips a lot of these tips before but ask yourself questions when you go to try these things on first thing i do obviously is if you like it or not anything that you may be in doubt of throw it out when in doubt throw it out then i usually kind of think of if there are things that are similar to it in my closet so if it's like a like a striped shirt i do have a pink striped shirt instead of like a blue striped shirt which you know will be fine to deal with. If I really need a striped shirt, I can probably use the pink one that I have in my closet right now. So then if you have something similar to it, then you'll want to toss it out. I go ahead and ask myself, well, do I, can I wear it with a lot of things? So like think of the um, shoes you can wear with it, first of all, if it's like a dress or something like that. But if it's a um, shirt and it has like weird colors in it, if you can only wear it with like red skinny jeans, you might want to think about it if you can't really have a lot of things to wear with it. Because this is your money. You made this money. You want to spend it well and you want to get good use out of your money. This is probably one of the most important things. Just really make sure you can get good use out of it and not just wear it once or twice and then not be able to wear it because you have nothing else to wear with it. If you just know that you are absolutely going to wear it and you can actually picture events and stuff you can wear it to, then yeah, I would go ahead and get it and yeah go ahead and get that clothing item because you be looking cute in it girl and you're worth it if you haven't already if you haven't could what am i saying i don't know i'm a, I'm a shopping queen y'all mm, mm, mm.
are my tips that I try to go by um, when I go shopping, even though, you know, everyone slips up a little bit and just buys a couple of those um, shirts or a pair of shoes that are just totally an impulse buy. But hey, it's okay. Like I said, no judging. Sorry, this was kind of a rambling video and I just end up talking way too much so this video is probably going to be really long. Once again, I apologize for that, but I hope you guys got some new tips or just like a different perspective on these tips if you've heard these already and yeah so i hope you guys really really enjoyed this video my colors of the rainbow tag video i announced that i'm going to hawaii and i'm so stoked but if you guys want to see any like packing videos or anything having to do with traveling in Hawaii, then tell me in the comment box down below because I will probably definitely do them and I have gotten some good feedback from you guys. So thank you so much for doing that because I'm planning on doing all those traveling videos. So get ready for a bunch of traveling and Hawaii videos coming up because there will be a lot of them and I'll be working hard on them and everything like that. Okay, I really gotta stop talking. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye!